Sure, I, I read in the uh, program that the, the Shandong women, a lot of these women are involved, I think, in the 15s and the 7s program. Right. And that kind of reflective in the way they played. Yeah. You know, they everyone knew their job, everyone knew what they're doing, they were well structured. That's right. Um, no, I thought it was great. So, moving on to the next game, folks, we have men's pool A. This is going to be a bone breaker game. <laughs> Woo! So, we have tradition YCAC up against Pig Athletic Club Barbars. That's a bit of a mouthful, but, um, and I don't know much about Pig Athletic Club Barbars, do you? Oh, the Pack Barbars. Okay. Um, only that they won their first game. Okay. Oh, that's good. And so, they look pretty good. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, good to hear. So this, as you say, this could be a bone breaker. YCAC, obviously, they started off slow in their first game. I think it was 5-0 at half time, but then they blew it out 20, uh, 40 to 5. Um, so I think they'll be, they've got their straps on now and they'll be looking to do something better in this game. Oh, that said, start. they haven't started off very well, <laughs> knocking the ball on in the 22. And that gives the, uh, the pack side a chance to put down a scrum and create some attack. I'm looking at this number 10 for the pack side, he looks pretty impressive. Um, oh, mate, he scored, uh, this halfback with the headgear scored uh, three tries in the first game. So watch out for that uh, okay. blind yeah. side. All right, cool. Yeah, he looks, uh, he looks like he's got the goods. Yep, he's one of the key players. Cool. Uh, yeah. Keep an eye on this blind side. So, so you're talking, so, so we've got Charlie, Charlie Reynolds West, number 10. Uh, sorry, that's Umi for, for Cedar. So James McGregor is the is the is the nine. Yeah, he's the danger man in he's, this team. He's the danger man. Yeah. So putting the ball down into about eight meters from YCAC line. Pack team are well on attack. This is their first chance to try and put some points on the board. What does their line out look like? You know, you played your games in the morning, you've had a break, you've had lunch, you've re-limbered, you've, re you've got yourself sorted semi. You know, I think you're ready for the afternoon game, right? Yeah. Here they come. Lost opportunity right there. So referee says, uh, I don't know what he's calling there. Oh, no, no, I, basically, no, it's, uh, I think he's saying tackle without the ball. So the player that was going to get the ball got tackled. So they've got an advantage here now. And they've, they've opted to take the scrum, interestingly enough, rather than a tap and go. So they obviously feel they have some kind of parity yeah. in the scrum. Or yeah, they've got some good, uh, some good engines There's in the some, scrum. Yeah, some good cattle there. And again, that blind side looks juicy. So Fossida, Fossida's looking to, well, he's bringing them over. Let's see, it. Let's see if it happens. No, he says, no, I'm going back. Oh, back to his blind side. And Foster is going through to the line. He's got a lot of strength and a lot of power, but they hold him up. They're literally one meter out. No one's there to pick up the ball, and there's a turnover. So the pack side won't be happy with that because they had all the momentum. It was just a bit of patience, but there was no one there gathering the ball semi. Yeah, they're just... They really messed up two tries. You can't afford to do that against this tradition team. So tradition, good clearance. They get the chance to put the ball into the line out. That breezes back up again. I noticed these flags are flying like hell now. It's beautiful. Semi. I mean, it's great. So, but it gives an advantage to this pack side in the first half. Let's see what they might be doing with that. So referees called it YCAC, and uh, just as we talked about the wind, it obviously had an effect on that guy's on the number six for YCAC's throw-in. Um, and uh, Tane Colossi, unfortunately, he just didn't get that one quite right. And another scrum down. So that's three scrums in the first kind of two minutes, three minutes. Yeah, weird. Um, you don't really, you shouldn't be seeing it from these two quality teams. No. So McGregor looking to put the ball in. Yeah, watch out for McGregor, bro. 
danger man. Here we go, 17, little kick through, Nobody looking for the 12. Home. He's looking at the ball, he's got it up, he's got the bounce. But he's just half a metre short. Good recycle, looking to recycle left. Ball, ball through hands, 17. Teo Manahira scores in the corner. The He'll be happy with that. Yeah. Great they try look good, by the those PAC Athletic bar club. bars. That yes. looks, that's a great, that's a great effort, great try. Third go at it, but they make that, they make it. There's a good set move too. Very Nobody good. home at the back, no sweeper. Yeah. No, you're right. They um, they look the goods. Do you know where where would a lot of these guys be from? Semi. Are they from all over, or are they Kiwis or Aussies? Probably, or? Yeah, a mixture of everyone from everywhere. Okay. Oh, they look good. So, tradition. Not used to being in this situation in the early part of the draw. So, Pak Barbas kick it off. Taken down nicely. Not out. Nice recycle. Moving the ball wide, trying to get it out of contact. But that's Not gone. Right. That's gone all over the, anywhere. Well, that's, that's uh -oh. again, that's a great pickup. Oh. Ooh. So, that's... Dicing with danger there, YCAC. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not sure know, why on he your own line, I mean, it's sort of, it's quite, I wouldn't call it arrogant play, but I'd say, you know, when you've got a side like Pac Barbas, you don't want to be putting yourself under pressure like that. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought. Well, especially against a big athletic club. They'll make you pay. This team is good. So, Pac Bar Barbas get a chance, another chance, another scrum. McGregor. Keep an eye on number set four. Move. So McGregor's there, moving it wide again, back into 17. McGregor's looking for the quick recycle. Referee mm -hmm. says no. Played the ball on the ground. Actually holding on. So unfortunately, Pac Barbar's just there. Uh, Tavita offer. Just. Teo, the try scorer, Teho Manahira, who was guilty, just holding on to the ball there. And uh, that's a relieving penalty for YCAC taking the ball back to halfway and they will get the put in. But, you know, Semi, they haven't, YCAC, they haven't had any of it their own way and they haven't, I don't think they've been, have they been in, have they been in Pac Barba's half? But they haven't left their half, no. So a lot of pressure still coming on this YCAC tradition side but like all good sides you, you haven't you don't plan 25 years in the tens for nothing these guys won't sit down they'll be trying everything at the moment all they can do is defend McGregor again oh, we would pass Moving there wide to Tom Connor Tom Connor little little kick over the top how's the ball gonna bounce here it bounces up nicely and it's a great move from YCAC Number eight, Kyle Preston. Preston, what can he do? Yes, he gets the ball to ground. Comes back now, but that's just, that's just, unfortunately, that's just pressure that you don't want to put on your first receiver by the by the halfback. You know, fired a rocket at him to his feet. It was impossible to catch pass. And uh, again, You've another scrum. Subs. Another eight scrum subs. to YCAC, uh, <laughs> rather to Pac Barbas, and they've just emptied their bench. Special teams. Always an interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's always an interesting uh, strategy. That. Yep. You, I mean, obviously you've got to be very confident about your pods, right? Yeah. And understand that to, to make that kind of a move. I mean, let's see if it pays off. Pigs clearly, have got a great scrum. Clearly, it pays off in the scrum because they get a penalty. So that's the benefit they get out of it. Uh, and then what you then got to say is what, you know, how, how do they then combine as a unit when you've got, you know, five new players on? So we'll see what happens out of this. They've decided they're going to take the, the kick to the corner, go for field position and build again their line out. This will be put, their last. And, and put more pressure on YCAC. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this, will, this will be their last chance before the half. So they really need to make sure they get the ball the right place. And that's a good throw in. No, the rip is gone. It's not a good throw in, actually. It's a poor throw in. It's not gone straight. And he's called a. Actually, 
I take that back. He's actually caught a short arm line out, a short arm penalty, a uh, short arm free kick rather, because they had more players in the line out as yep. it turns out. Preston looking to take the tap. Moves it to one of their big runners in the middle. That's a big hit on him. And a good and a very good counter run. But YCAC looking to get their big guns going. They really haven't fired a shot in this game so far. We're nearly up. 44 seconds left in the half. But they're now starting to show the kind of form that we know they're capable of. Taking it up the middle. They just need to get some structure in here. He's smothered by the pigs. Pack bar bars. Still, it's a, it's a lot of line spin going on there and a lot of smothering in the tackles and making it very difficult for YCAC, but they, they're good enough to get it back and getting into runners. And they're looking at the moment, it's a free ball. The referee's got his hand out. So what are they going to do here? Are they going to take advantage of it? Let's see. They really need to attack the space, YCAC. And, he gets, and they get another penalty. So that's repeated infringements. I think one more maybe we might see him going to his pocket. YCAC now coming back and putting a bit of pressure on, but they need to move it because it's time up on the clock. They got a two on one here. No, he decides to go on his own. Caleb, Emil Voga, Corey Nonstrom. Out to Tavita Offa. He decides to put the kick in and behind, but it's a wasted kick because it goes into the corner. Again, they were playing the advantage. Back to YCAC. One last chance for them before half time. They're down seven points to nil against this very well drilled Pac Barbar's side. So they get one more chance to put it into the corner, get a line out, and see if they can. Get some parity on the scoreboard, Semi. Oh, the Pack Babas have never been down here before. So this is the last chance for tradition before they go into the break. So tradition YCAC, they've got to get this right into the line out. There it goes. No, and they don't. It goes over the top. It's a poor execution in the red zone for YCAC. But they've stolen the ball back. So that's a good recovery. The referee is looking at this and going, hang on. Hang on, that's the fourth infringement. We're starting to get into professional foul territory. The referee says, well, no, maybe I'll just settle it down, but he's probably going to have a chat to somebody. It's the linesman. The linesman's coming in, the assistant referee's coming in and saying it could be a, a, a deliberate knockdown, in which case he's going to his pocket. Yeah, and uh -oh. that cheese you were talking about before, Simi. Oh, boy. Some more cheddar, mate. There it comes again. Ooh. So... It's Unfortunately for for Lavini Inari, number zero, Lavini Inari, he has two minutes in the bin. Um, which you know, their decidedly wasn't that happy about. I mean, you know, the 50-50s at anyone's guess those sorts of plays. Again, YCAC, they just cannot, they cannot get their throw right. That's just poor execution, Semi. And the referee's call for half time. So at half time here at Sports Road, the uh, 2024 Hong Kong Football Club 10s, Pak Barbars lead the YCAC seven points to nil. Semi, comments from you. Oh, mate. This Pak Barbars team are so stubborn. Super stubborn. They've got power in the front, they've got gas in the backs, and they've got the danger man, McGregor. Running the show right in the middle. He's he's right in the, the sweet spot. He's the quarterback. But tradition, you know, they're not sure what they're trying to achieve. They've missed a lot of ball and just dropping balls and not really backing themselves like they yeah. used to in the, the previous uh, yeah. Yeah. previous games. Yeah, totally agreed. I'm, yeah, I'm sure we'll understand what's happening at halftime in terms of the coaches' chat. Hey, on another subject, just really good to obviously have everybody here but let's talk about people you know around the world and all parts of the rugby world mate just great to have them watching live this live stream um, yeah. broadcast and uh and hope you're going to be with us this afternoon into the evening and then and then tomorrow so we thank you for your support the sponsors need you the players need you we need you yeah um so just a shout out to all you are wherever you are i know Patty Cook and uh, Brenda Cook in New Zealand and Tauranga. I know you're there watching live stream. So 
Hey, love to you, the hey family. Um, you know, and there's, there are so many others I know watching Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands, Semi, yep. a lot of your family and friends um, that you may want to shout out to. But just yep. great to have everybody on board. Oh, Talofa to everybody in Samoa, Bula Venaka to everyone in Fiji, and uh, Kia ora to everyone in New Zealand, and our friends in Tonga. Fefehake Saipe. Welcome everybody to the Tradition Hong Kong Football Club, Football Club Tens. So second half, second half about to start. Pack Barbars, Pack Barbars are saying one more, one more. So clearly they, yep. times run out for the guy in the naughty, naughty bin. Remember, Inari's in the, in the bin. So Natani Belissa Mosmo comes onto the field. YCAC starting the second half in a much more in a much better vein but we have at the moment the referee sees something here and i think it probably is a high tackle with no arms uh -oh. and i'm not sure if this was the player that got sent off before oh no nah. okay it's not but he's going to the bin he's pleading not guilty but unfortunately it just it was one of those moments where jerome moore so jerome unfortunately jerome moore Jariah Moore, sorry Jariah, but yeah, um, I know there's no intent in it, there, you know, EAC. with these, there never is these days, but unfortunately the referee's got no decision but to send him from the field, and so that gives YCAC the, the distinct advantage, 10 versus 9, yeah, in this early stanza in the second half, semi. can't afford to have anybody off the field actually so YCAC have the chance to go either way here it's a, that's the typical midfield scrum um, we've got two on one here on the right so you'd think they'll be bringing it right but let's see and oh. Oh. and no they don't but it looked for, for all money that driving up they'd been driven over the ball by pack barbars but the referee has deemed it illegal and given the Tradition YCAC another another go at it. I would have thought they would have taken the scrum rather than the kick to the corner semi, but that's just me uh, because they had the two two to one overlap there. And Nari coming back on after his yellow piece of cheese. So so they were down to eight. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, I didn't get that. So down to eight. So they're back back up to nine. So at one stage they were playing with eight players. Yep. Pack Barbas. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. But again, here we go, YCAC. Can they get this throw right? And they don't. They don't. Again, Ouch. it's another error. So that's three crucial mistakes um, between the thrower and the catcher. I don't know if it's communication, poor technique, combination of both, but it's hurting YCAC very much in this game. Yeah, tradition really need to score right now in order to get to build that momentum up so they've got nothing on the board at the moment they really no. need to strike here yep they need a big scrum here they need to scrum back over the ball pack Barbar's scrum McGregor, looking ominous McGregor puts it in but there was a push too early from YCAC no rush that gives they got time yeah the lead yeah that gives that gives for the scrum that gives Mariga the chance to... And it's their weapon. Yeah, there you go. So they obviously back themselves in the scrum. Yep, and Jariah Moore is back on the field. Okay. Back to air level pegging. So they could have dodged a bullet there. Oh, Pack Barbas. Big time bullet. In fact, I think they did. So if you look at the, you know, if you look at the Pack Barbas and even on the sideline, they've got a good team unity going here. They've all got good communication. They're enjoying what they're doing few smiles on the faces here they look like they're going about their work nicely there's no panic uh, they're a well well composed side i have to say that said looking to run it out of their own 22 mcgregor it goes in behind him but he's a clever little player this one puts a left foot kick in the referee comes back and he's saying that there's players on ycac side not retiring down of the last four minutes cookie yep down to the last four minutes so ycac they've got all the field position but they've got nothing to show for it so right. let's see if this goes out and it doesn't go out 
Oh, and another error by YCAC. Unusually, another error. Oh. The referee's calling, he's called advantage and he's called advantage over. But he's saying, no, I'm going to play it my fault. I'm going to play the first advantage. And here we go again. The cattle change. That's the one. We've got another what, eight, another seven to eight going on, going yes. on. And it seems it seems to be working for them. Sure does. So another big scrum here. YCAC. They're, they're now getting into desperation territory. I mean, there's still five minutes to play. Five minutes on the board. Um, so we've got so, number 70, uh, Charlie Reynolds West, so, the new halfback. Okay, so Charlie, what can you do, mate? Uh, Charlie Reynolds West putting the ball into the scrum. It's on the shine, brother. Looking to move it back, pack bar bars. Oh, referee says like tackle without the ball, not 10. So they're going again. Referee's going no, no, oh. no. What? No, number Is two, going? Terrell Piata. Sorry, mate. You weren't back 10. So Terrell Piata decides he's going to get another bit of cheese. And that doesn't help YCAC's cause at all, Semi. No. No. That said, it's still only 7 0. So it's still anyone's game. Pack Barbars know that they're in control. They get this ball back. Great, great kick there by Daly Bird. Um, able to put it down into, into the 22. And they have the throw in, and their throw in at this stage has been pretty good, I have to say. Pack Barbars are going to get this ball back. They're using a very short line out. Good execution. Connor Hickey looking to go up himself, taking the ball to the ground. Good pressure by YCAC. Charlie West moving it wide. But the Ripped. ball's lost, the ball's lost. YCAC now have the advantage. Cameron Church says, no, nah, I'm going to have a go. But again, it's just like that ball, ball security is, is, is nowhere to be seen. That's a great tackle by by Blake Macari, great tackle by Blake Macari. The ball's now in his hands, moving it wide, going to the corner to the big man, Samisi Sakuru. Got numbers YCAC's here. YCAC's now starting to show a bit of the class that we know they're capable of. Tavita Offer, good feet and hands. There's a bit more about this side, Semi, but, you know, is it too late? They've still got 2 minutes 47. Mm. Here they go, and they're playing an advantage, and they're still on attack. Griffey says no, nothing in that. He's taking the advantage. YCAC, I just feel now I've got the momentum. But, gee, it's taken 13 minutes, Semi. And that was a uh, penalty. Luke Vandersmid with a late tackle. So Henry Saker takes the ball, number 11. He's on the field. Moving it out to the outsides. Starting at the moment, they've got way more momentum. They've got way more speed in their clear outs and their phases. YCAC. Different personnel on the field, maybe. That's probably some of it. As Lote Takiri tries to take that ball forward. I don't know if that's Lottie Takiri. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like him. Back to Henry Saker. Oh. Intercept there. Oh boy. Number two, Daly Bird. I'm sorry, Daly. Daly Bird. I'm sorry, Daly, but you're probably going to go to the sideline, mate. Unfortunately, because it didn't come off. And in this in this particular format, you go to the bin for that play. Oh boy. So Cameron Church looking to maybe just settle it down. What are, what are the boys going to do? Are they going to have a scrum? It's the last minute and a half. No, they're going to take a tap. They have one minute 18 to get back in this match. And they're away again. They're trying, they are trying at the moment, they're trying everything. Here we go, we got 18. Blake McCary, does he, does he go in the corner? The referee says, yeah, Blake McCary, uh, you've scored. And... Uh, 
makes it difficult with this conversion, but seven now five, seven plays five, Pack Barber seven, YCAC five. Everything on the everything on the kick. Tavita offer. All up to you, my friend. And he comes in and tries to go around the corner. Right idea. But doesn't come off because he doesn't quite have the height. I knew what he was trying to do. 30 seconds left. 7-5. So YCAC, tradition YCAC need the ball in hand here. And they and they Someone's in trouble here. Referee has deemed someone's Again. in trouble. And it's in a YCAC player who and he's putting his hands up in the air and saying, ref, what are you talking about? I think it's um, and wow. and and that, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually the match. Um, and Pack Barbars, they will take that. That was a big, big cheer from then at the end, Semi. They were very, very happy with winning that match. Very, very happy.